I was considering putting one of these Chinese diesel air heaters in my shack. I did a lot of research. I couldn't find any videos on uh, on them in ice shacks. Lots in the in RVs, but so here it is a video of a Chinese diesel air heater in an ice shack. And I got to tell you guys, I love this thing. It's a five kilowatt model. I think the eights are the same as the fives from what I've read. They're just labeled eight to charge a little bit more. I paid, I think it was $189 Canadian, including shipping. Um, I've got it running on the lowest temperature. My shack's six by 10, it's 22 Celsius in here. It's minus six Celsius outside right now. It was down to minus 18 last night. Temperature didn't change inside. I never took it off low. I had to crack some windows even. When I don't have the floor holes open, the, she gets pretty hot in here, almost overbearingly hot. But here's the digital controller. As you can see, oh, I was actually on 1.8, but anyway, it goes, it tops out at five Hertz and I'm on 1.8. So it's, yeah, I got lots of room to move. Minus 40 will be no problem. Came with a uh, key fob on off, up, down. That's all there is. But you know, if you're pulling your, your uh, shack behind you on a trailer, you can hit on 10 minutes from the, uh, from the lake and she'll be nice and toasty when you get there right here is my hot air discharge and i don't know how hot that is but hot enough to burn you it's hot <laughs> so uh this is also rotatable so you can direct it i've got it kind of pointing towards the middle at the floor my heater is mounted underneath my jackknife sofa right there and then just ducked it out to that airport I'll show you the setup outside. Bear with me, gotta put my shoes on. Too hot for shoes in here. <laughs> All right, so my setup outside, I got a extra pipe. I just ran off the muffler. I'm gonna use that to keep a tip up hole open. <laughs> right there, that's about 26 hours worth of diesel. I've used maybe four liters. Filter's there. Pump is there. It's really the only thing that makes any noise. It's silent inside. You can hear a little ticking, kind of like a clock. And then underneath, I've got, I hope you can see that. Just two three inch holes. I used a three inch hole saw. I've got my, uh, air intake right there run up in the frame of the trailer so what i can say about these heaters is they are a game changer i've never slept so comfortably they don't use oxygen from inside there's my daughter <laughs> the dog likes it too yeah if you guys are thinking of getting one of these just just buy it it's amazing 200 bucks five bucks a day in diesel and it's as comfortable as home cheers